So this video is for those of you that have already or plan on mounting a treadmill motor to a uh, Harbor Freight lathe to give it um, variable speed. Um, most of the ones that I've seen, in fact all the ones that I've seen on YouTube, the methods of doing that have the treadmill motor mounted off the back of the lathe. Um, and I just said there's got to be a more cosmetic way of doing that. Um, so here's what I did. First of all, um, get rid of the flywheel off of the treadmill motor. You don't need it. It doesn't do anything for it. Someone said it smooths out the speed. However, there's a, there's a circuit in that, um, on that circuit board for the treadmill that smooths that speed out. That, that's what it does. Um, plus it makes the motor free spin after you shut it off. So just take it off. It does nothing. I used it for a year on my vintage lathe and that I had the motor mounted way off to the back and it, it then I did it without it and there, there's no difference. That's the motor that comes out of the Harbor Freight lathe. That's the pulley that came out that was on that um, lathe. You have to take the pulley off so you're going to need pullers to get the bracket that that motor mounts to. Um, it's a very simple mounting. There's three bolts that mount the motor to this black bracket which is on the lathe. So you take the two screws out that hold that bracket into the lathe, um, pull the whole thing out, cut the wire, take the pulley off, take the bracket off, the treadmill motor, they all have that big uh, flange around the outside of it. That's not an issue. You just center that bracket over the flange, drill some holes, mount the bracket to it. Um, you're gonna need to notch out the, um, I didn't do a very cosmetic job of, of it on mine, but you're gonna need to notch out the bracket on the um, treadmill motor to um, allow you to put in the two mounting screws for the bracket to hold it to the lathe. Um, once you've done that, the other thing you do is Loosen this screw that holds this top pulley on, and when you first um, take it up, when you first open this up, it's going to be oriented the other way, with the wide end facing, um, you know, the out the out. Sorry about that. The outside of the lathe. You just flip it around so that um, it's oriented so that the wide end is closer to the inside of the lathe um, and you keep the same belt that this the belt that comes with this um, is a grooved belt which is fine because it keeps it right in where it's supposed to be on the top um, top pulley and it just goes and a regular V pulley will work just fine for the bottom. Um, you don't need a whole lot of tension on it. it um, more tension, more stress on the uh, on the whole works. It works just fine with just moderate tension based on the using that bracket. And when that is all done, if you've been looking at this, then you know you can get a RPM meter for 12 bucks off of Amazon. Um, and it shows you, and there are plenty of videos that show you how to wire in the pause button and all of that, but um, with, that, with that small pulley down at the bottom and the wider pulley at the top, um, when the treadmill motor is spun up to full speed, it'll get just below 3,000 RPM. Um, again, this is not on how to make that whole thing work. You can watch other videos on how to do it. I just was thought that there must be a more cosmetic way of putting uh, that motor underneath there. Um, and that's what I did. It's just mounted to the bracket that came with the Harbor Freight lathe. And it looks a lot prettier and there's no stuff hanging out. That flywheel is... A good weight for something and um, 
you know, you got a spare pulley and a 1700 RPM motor to use for something else. There you go.